President Biden has the legal authority to cancel student loan debt. Not his authority at all. The most problematic thing is that he is, quote, forgiving loans. It's up to Congress to appropriate money. Colleges and universities need to stop charging so much, and students should not be being encouraged to borrow the amount of money that they're borrowing. As the legal battle over Biden's plan to cancel student loan debt for millions of borrowers mounts, there is an even larger pool of borrowers, more than 40 million Americans who will restart paying their student loans for the first time in three years this fall. The payment pause that was included in the Bipartisan CARES Act was initially set to end at the end of the summer of 2020. President Trump, who wanted to avoid perhaps having student loan payments become due right around the time of the 2020 election, used executive action okay. to extend the payment pause through the end of 2020. Initially, the GOP was on board with freezing repayments. But as Biden repeatedly extended the pause well into 2023, Republicans leading education policymaker, Representative Virginia Fox, called for its end. When it began under President Trump, we were really in the throes of COVID. And I had real concerns about that bill myself. I was very conflicted about voting for it. What we should have done uh, is just a few months afterwards is to have it start back. We have 11 million jobs unfilled in this country right now. There is no excuse for continuing to put in abeyance the payment of these loans. As the Biden administration really tied the payment pause extensions to its debate about canceling student debt, that's when it became much more politicized and Republicans began to mount pressure on the administration to restart student loan payments. Student debt relief was a central part of Biden's 2020 campaign. And now, with his re-election gearing up, it's one of the things he hopes to deliver on. And over the last two years, I've been working to make college more affordable for all students. And my Department of Education has proposed the most generous repayment program ever. The president ran in his campaign on free college. For people who currently have loans, it appears as though he's fulfilling his promise. But he is allowing, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt not to be paid back by the people who took it out. We're glad that in the um, bill that raised the debt ceiling, we were able to get that into the bill. But at least uh, we, we've said they have to start repayment. That means coming into the Treasury every month will be $5 billion owed to the American people. And that's a start. I have no doubt that the President and the Democrats will continue to look for ways to absolve people of their responsibility. Our fight doesn't end because the Supreme Court says one thing or another. In America, you should not have to face financial ruin because you want a damn education. And the history of black Americans denied the ability to build generational wealth. And so we borrow and default at higher rates. Now I'm being very careful in the language that I'm using is somebody has to pay that money back to the treasury and that's gonna be the American people.